I'm going to share with you one of my secret techniques for farming faction points. Today we are starting at 6,120 faction points. And what we're doing is we're going to be soloing outposts. It is pretty early in the morning. It's 7.30 UTC on a Sunday. And uh, there's a few outposts uh, where we're going to just run to them. And we're not going to solo the entire zone. We're simply only going to solo one single outpost in that zone and then eventually bridge watch will end up capturing it at some point it's almost it's never happens where another faction comes in and captures it instead usually uh if i go east of bridge watch limhurst you know will take some of the land and then bridge watch will take it back and it just kind of rinses and repeats throughout the day it's almost never occurred where like thetford or Fort Sterling comes and takes the land instead, whereas if they did that, then it would ruin this method, but that never, ever happens. So I've already checked the map, and I've made sure that zones are nearby, near Bridgewatch, and they do have a few stars of value. And the reason why I'm not taking the entire zone is so that the value can be maxed out, but because I take at least one of the outposts, I am considered a, a competitor in that region until it is captured. So... Um, basically, I can just capture these outposts, go AFK, I'll come back to thousands and thousands of faction points. And even just capturing one puts me in the running for the defense of the land. And because it's early in the morning, there's not a lot of people faction farming, I get the, sh the lion's share of the points. So here we go, we've got, um, this is a 2 out of 3 star zone, it's right outside Bridgewatch. I just need to capture one of these zones, and most likely there might not be players up here, whereas... Along the road, there might be players. So I'm actually going to go up here north and capture Outpost 1. Because that is the one where I'm least likely to get messed with by enemy faction players. There is a chance that there might be someone from Limhurst here. But if it's far away from where they're at, then they might not bother showing up. Especially if they don't see a blob around. Or if, you know, they're not looking for a fight. But you never truly know. There is a small risk um, that comes with this. And the risk is a repair bill, so it's not that bad. Alright, so I'm going to switch my mount to a bear, <laughs> because I need the tinkiness of the bear, and then I'm going to eat lifesteal food, and use this 8.4 shadow color build to solo the outposts. So here we go, uh, the timer has begun, and let me remount up, I forgot that I didn't have it fully summoned. Okay, so Limhurst is actually the hardest faction outpost to solo. It is possible with 8.4 gear, but I wouldn't try it with anything less. So we're going to aggro the boss now, just kind of pull everyone out and over here. We need them outside this doorway, just like that, okay, cool. And we need them over here, because we want to get them all nice and bunched up on the faction mask of the champion here. And then we're just going to dump everything we have on the boss here. And he's going to hit us with a wind-blowing attack. We're going to hit the corner here so we cannot get blown away. And I'm just going to sit here and rotate my attacks. He does one big charge attack right there. I'm going to use the mount to soak that. And then I'm going to use my laser beam and Q spell. And I'm going to use the mount to soak that. So I'm just using my mount as kind of some spare HP. Now, sometimes I do get hit by that, so it can't be really helped. Let's dodge that. I'm going to actually eat that. That sucks. But hey, we are we can kind of just, you know, win with our, our gear. We have a gear advantage here. And I'm just gonna tank the rest because I gotta. This is a DPS race at this point. And we're gonna tank that with the mount. There we go. Pop the laser under him, or the puddle with the laser beam, and then that kills one boss. So that is one boss down, and we just have to capture the zone here. So uh, we're just gonna run up here, capture this point now. And I'm going to get credit whenever this zone gets fully captured. This will continue to rise into three stars, and then eventually when Bridgewatch does come around and capture this, I will get credit for this capture, but also, because I am capturing outposts by myself, I'm getting full credit for that, full credit for killing the outpost leader, and defense of the running points will start flooding in right about now. It, it takes anywhere from, um, like, like, three minutes to 15 to 45 minutes in general. So next up is, I can't capture Parched Throat because it's back capped. Same with Sand Gloss, Gust. Um, so I need to proceed over here to Kilmar, Bronze, and Believer Tor now. 
uh, which I could just teleport home, or I can use the, the snow husky. I'm just going to use the snow husky. Well, we're going to teleport because we want to do this in a, in, a, in a timely fashion. So we are now off to Kilmar Tor. That is two, that's three zones away. And uh, again, it's a lot of faction points for not a lot of effort. Now, Martlock is far, far easier to solo. Martlock is super easy to solo. Uh, if anything, all the other factions are incredibly easy to solo, including the Black Zone ones. I don't take 8.4 out in the Black Zone, but I could use like a crappy 8.1 set and do this if I wanted to. Um, and there's very little risk if there's no gankers. Like, like, Care Leone doesn't just roam the zones near Bridgewatch, ever. And neither do other factions usually, most of the time. So I would be, I could take an 8.1 and go solo the Black Zone ones if I wanted. But in my testing, doing that with the Black Zone, I'm sorry, not Black Zone, Red Zone <laughs> areas, it's the same amount of faction points. Like, it doesn't matter that it's a Red Zone. Faction points only get multiplied in Red Zones when you kill actual players, not when you capture outposts. From my testing, all right, that is, uh, that is both on the live server and the test room. So let's go to uh, Bronze Hill. We're going to capture one point, and then we're going to just climb our way up the Martlock zones. And then we, we'll just chill for a while. I'll show you the earnings. It's it's pretty good earnings. And here we go. Yeah, yeah. So do I need... I'm just going to run halfway through the map, because I don't know if I go up or left. I think I go left. Or maybe not. I think I go up, actually, because left is a Tier 3 zone. I believe. I'm not sure. We're using the Husky to get there super, super duper quick with the run speed. And I'm not dismounting on you, bro. I'm not trying to flex on you. I'm just trying to reset my mount. He's probably doing a transport anyway. Uh, so let's see. Yes, I, I actually go the up left one. Yes, that's Kilmar Tor. So we're going to go there. And, uh, you know, do the same thing. Uh, Marlock, you do have to reposition a bunch. You don't just use the mount to tank everything. You, uh, you have to reposition when he does an AoE attack. And then he does these little spiked stalacite, like, like... Like, Earth shoots up from the ground and will knock you back and deal damage, so you have to dodge that, too. It's real simple. I'll show you how to do it. It's it's pretty easy. And, um, yes, I am aware that new players can't do this, but if a new player wants to do this, they can spend three days playing the game, get 8.3. You can do this at 8.3. You just can't really do the Limhurst one in 8.4. And we have a few people here. This guy's gonna follow me, actually, because he's in full PvP gear now, so... Uh, I'm not actually able to capture any of these because there is... A couple dudes guarding it, it looks like. They're roaming around looking for fights. Uh, I'm not actually looking for fights. You can tell that they're kind of following me, so I'll need to go to a different zone here. Uh, we'll go to Bronze Hill. They might or might not follow me because I am a YouTuber. I do have the faster mount, so I can maybe shake them off, but... Um... <laughs> uh, people tend to follow me a lot when they see my name, and uh, those guys are looking for fights. If I attack an outpost, they will show up and stop me, so... Uh, it's a good thing that I saw them on the road and not have to deal with mounting up later. So one of the things why I keep the bear so close is so I can just jump on if someone dismounts. Most likely, faction fighters aren't going to carry invisibility sets so they can invis gank you, which would be a heavy counter to this. I can always come back to this zone later. Those guys might get bored and move on. So we're just going to go capture a different zone and then um, not worry about it. I don't know why they would be roaming here, though. If they're looking for fights, they should get closer to Bridge Watch. It's a little odd that they would be here. I don't know what they're doing, but that guy is in full 8-4 just like me. So he's out here doing some faction hijinks. He's out here getting some points. And I can always swap my build and, t and take that out. It's not that hard to take out. Saddle Tour is available to cap, so we can, we can cap this. Uh, there's 26 people here, though. That's a lot of players for this zone at this time of day. So that's unusual. I don't know if that's like bots. I don't know if that's um, faction players that are coming here to camp this. I don't. I have no clue. But we're gonna we're gonna attempt it. We're gonna we're gonna see if uh, it aggro's any of the blue people. And uh, yeah, if we see if we see some faction flag players, we'll just uh, have to go to another. It looks like it's being attacked. So I, I think Bridgewatch might be here capping. If that happens, go ahead and, and nab some credit. Yeah, we got some Bridgewatch guys here. So. Uh, I'm just going to participate in this. Normally, I don't need to switch my mounts or anything. That's why there's so many people here. And I'm just going to help, you know, kill this quickly. Go 
ahead and dodge the Stalos side. I'll show you how to solo this if I can get some uh, solo time, but a lot of Bridge Watch players will actually follow me around because they know what I'm doing, and so they can also get credit, which it does make things easier, but you, you do get a little bit less points. Uh, so they're saying care. It looks like a bombing group is coming. <laughs> Good old bombing group. I want to make sure I tag them, and uh, <laughs> yeah, look at the damage. Oh, yeah, they're dead. <laughs> Uh, walk through my puddles so I get credit. I don't even need to switch to a PvP set. Like, what, is this guy gonna fight me? Bro, really? <laughs> I'm fully geared. <laughs> he can't He can't actually hurt me, you know? He can try. <laughs> so, um, yeah, these guys were no match. They're just here for the tags. They're just here to have some fun. And uh, laser him down. <laughs> oh, boy. See if I can get a puddle on the healer there. There, I got a. Oh, I'm the only one capping. <laughs> All right, yeah. Don't worry, lads. I got this. There we go. Anyway, y'all have fun. I've tagged them. I don't need to stick around for the kill. I'm just gonna run away now and go to the next zone as quick as possible. Um, so I don't know if they're gonna rotate here or go. Oh, it looks like someone's capping Believer Tour. I wanted that. I'll get Bronze Hill though. <laughs> oh, they're kind of like capping around this little circle. So let's get Bronze Hill now. Uh, there might be some resistance because the the blues like to they like to like uh, they like to back door as it's called. What they do is they go a little bit deeper and start capping from behind to like kind of corner bridge watch. So we got 62 points. Someone someone we tagged just died, uh, and that helps. You know that that's actually cool. Okay, so they're already capping this zone. Two out of three. It's it's actually already captured. Where am I? I'm at Believer Tour. I want to go to Bronze Hill, so I need to go this way. Oh. We got a bunch of blues starting to cap the bridge world. I don't have a lot of time. I need to get to Bronze Hill and very quickly cap one zone. And then they might come cap it back. And I still get credit whenever Bridge Watch swoops in and, and, and caps it. So, <laughs> been doing a lot of research on these faction farmings, man. But, uh, yeah, we're like a one-man army. We are, we're like uh, the commando from Command & Conquer. We're running around. We're C4ing the bases down. Uh, I don't need to be, a, you know, a blob to, to capture outposts. I can basically do it myself. I'm a one-man army. I'm a solo soldier of Bridgewatch. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go to Bronze now, capture one outpost as fast as possible. And they're going to rotate to number two and cap that. So I've got time. I, I can just freaking bum-rush number one here down. Or I can go number two or number three even, you know. And uh, But I, I'm pretty sure I've got time to do number one because I am very quick. The reason why... It takes them a while. Oh, someone's already capping number one, so it looks like I'll just assist them instead. I know this was supposed to be like the solo video, but it seems like everyone's a little active right now. It is technically a weekend, so I guess they've got, you know, they're off work. They don't have to go to school. Uh, so, yeah, he's... Okay, well, we're going to start, you know, getting the tag on this immediately. I want to deal as much damage to the boss as possible, so I'm just going to dump everything. If I out DPS everyone else, I actually get uh, fame points and some a little bit of faction points. So it's very incentivized for me to try to out DPS everyone else here. And I only need to capture one point. It's the same crew as earlier, so they've rotated here. I didn't rotate correctly. I went to the wrong zone because the maps can... Like, I am directionally uh, re stupid. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, I Directions are super confusing. I needed GPS to get anywhere in life. N not even kidding, not not even memeing. And it, they out DPS me, so it's whatever. I've touched the ground here, I don't need to stay for the cap, I will still get credit for that cap, putting me in the running for the zone. Uh, so there's Kilmar Tor, I need to race my way there now. And uh, cap one there, and then we can just chill, we don't have to keep playing, I don't have to go and, uh, I can swap to a, a blob destroying set, I can swap to a solo PvP set, I can swap to... You know, anything I want, I can go fame farm if I want. And I'll I'll get uh, I'll be getting all the faction points regardless. I don't have to sit here and capture each, out, each outpost. To get to Kilmar, I need to go bottom right. Okay, there we go. Pretty easy to follow. And uh, we'll go capture one there. Now I believe that's where those um those PvPers were, the, the 8.4 Boa Badon user and stuff. Actually, very, that's a very hard build to deal with nor, in normal circumstances, but uh, Bear Paws can kind of do it if you play good enough. Uh, other than that, uh, also in 8.4, you can't kill them, they can't kill you, generally. I might have to eat my own words, but we'll see. 
All right. Hopefully they're not still hovering around this zone. Hopefully they've, you know, joined a fight or something. I don't know why they would feverently defend this area, but you never know. People just be doing whatever. So let's go ahead and try to solo this now. And uh, that's plenty of outposts soloed. We're going to get tons of points for it. I'm just swapping or I'm dismounting it because the husky will slow you down after its ability. If you dismount and remount on it, you get the speed back. So it's really nice. All right, so let's swap bear and get in there. We've only been playing for like, what, not even 15 minutes right now. Okay, and let's go ahead and uh, grab these dudes, and I'll show you how to, how to solo this. So we really just want to kill the guards as fast as possible, but I don't want to kill them too fast, because I want to lifesteal from them with uh, my uh, <laughs> shadow collar set there. And uh, so what we're doing now is we're just going to puddle him, laser him. When he does an AoE attack, we dodge that. It's going to put another one under us, we dodge that, and then we're good for a while. We can just sit here and chill, and if he does his whirlwind attack, we can just hop on the bear. You don't have to, though. You absolutely- there we go. So I can hop on the bear for this, and he'll spin the bear, not a problem. He's going to cast more AoEs, cast another AoE after he does that big, like, nuclear symbol one. And uh, that's all the fight. It's a super easy fight. Dodge the line attack, just cast your spells, and you can see I'm, like, full health. And we got a, looks like we got a guy that's coming to help. I can just tank the whirlwinds. I'm strong enough, but your gear might not let you do that. So here we go. We got another. This guy is super, I remember this guy. Look at his, oh, never mind. No, wrong guy. Mistake of identity. I thought he was the full 8.4 curse staff masterpiece guy. We've got one in Bridgewatch, and he is a beast. He is so much more geared than me, and he clearly credit card swiped it. He's, he's wearing almost a billion in, in gear. It's nutty. So there we go, I got the credit, 9,000 faction points. And he, you know, he did help, he's got the life curse staff, he can lower, life, you can solo life curse staff, because this lowers the damage the enemies deal. There's there's a lot of builds that can solo this, there's like, uh, battle axe builds that can solo this, I've seen holy staffs that can solo this. It's really easy to solo faction outpost bosses, except for Limhurst, they're very difficult. There we go, so we got one of the outposts, we got this one, we got Bronze Hill, we got Saddle Tor, um... Believer Tor is back capped, um, but it's not worth any stars. There we go. We just got 1,710 bonus uh, for defense of the land, and that's probably just from tagging those players, not even capping. You can go to Karns Hill. Like, these are all zero stars at the moment, right? But you can still do it, and then by the time Bridgewatch swoops around to capture it, uh, you'll get it. So we have Drywater Meadow that we captured earlier. It looks like it's being captured back, and like I said, that's totally fine. Um, I don't know why... Um, Limhurst would care about that, but uh, it's whatever. Eventually, it, they'll come around. I can also run to Parched Throat Plain, capture one there. Um, if I really wanted to, I can capture two out of the three here. Go to Sand Gust Cleft. I can go to Pine Copes. You know, I can I can just do whatever. It's uh, but since we're already in the Martlock zones, let's just start. Let's get let's get one at Carnes Hill. Let's go to Carnes Hill now. Capture one of those and. Uh, other than that, we could just start solo, uh, solo PvPing, running around, and just ganking people, fishing or gathering or fame farming in the open world, and uh, that's an that's another way to build lots of faction points too, very quickly. If you the the way faction points work when you kill a player is you get more points the longer they have not died. It it does not matter about what gear they're wearing or what their faction rank is or how many faction kills they have. None of that matters. What matters is that. How long they have been actively faction flagged and how long they have not died. And there is a cap to it. It's like five or six hundred points. But what you do is you go out and you find some stupid fishing bot that no one's touched in like a week. And then you just dunk on them and then there you go. You get 600 points. Uh, the game will think that you're a faction chad killing the highest ranked players. And then it's going to reward you a huge sum of defense of the land points. And if you do this during the off hours because there's less points to be shared you get the lion's share of the points, meaning that you can faction farm points like crazy. Uh, so let's go to Karns. Karns Hill would be Flat River or Falconist to Karns. We'll go Falconist to Karns. And uh, Karns Hill is normally defended a little bit heavier by, by Martlock. Usually not this early, but um, I, I normally play at like 0 UTC or like 4 AM UTC. And that's the deadest hours. Right now, people are starting to actually wake up. Um, <laughs> so, um, you know, I, I can't, I won't be able to do this the entire time, but we're, we're gonna keep doing it. 
you know, just maybe like th we'll do it for like 30 minutes and then I can just AFK and show you the points that we get. We started at what? Um, I have it on the screen. We started at 6120 and we're at 8532, so that's 2000, uh, which is not that good. And I'm going to be right now, like re realistic. It's not that good yet. But when we AFK for a while, ooh, what kind of chest we got? 50 seconds on the chest. I may, my, I might go for that chest, actually. Um, <laughs> it, if there's a lot of bridge launch people at the chest, it's free. If there's no one geared at this hour, it's free. But sometimes there might be an 8.4 battle axe user with an 8.4 healer in his pocket. And there's no beating that. Like, I can't do crap against that, no matter what build I bring. So that's just, the, I have to give up the chest. Oh, there's uh, there's Martlock coming. That's bad. So Martlock's coming to cap the zone. I could... <laughs> uh, oh, there's a Martlock guy near the chest. So we got... Yeah, there's there's too many uh, contenders, it looks like. I am not a PvP set. Th this is purely PvE. It is... It's not worth the repair build to even bother. If I was in, like, a Battle Axe set, you know, maybe a Light Crossbow set, yeah, I'm gonna freaking go, go tussle with them, but... This guy might follow me. He changed his um, his direction as soon as he saw me. There's another chest here, too. One minute on that one. So that chest can actually be a distraction while I cap outpost, too. Uh, there's an, another... There's some blues in this zone, it looks like. This might not be feasible or possible. It actually might be... Did that guy add me? I don't... Why do people add me without ever talking to me, man? Like, stop that. Uh, hidden treasure. I'm gonna grab this real quick. <laughs> I know, it's only like 2,000 silver, but it's free money. I might as well pick it up. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> let's see if we can nab Outpost Two. Uh, hopefully, none of the blues notice. Uh, hopefully, they're they're trying for this chest over here in 27 seconds. I I actually need to get there faster because that if it's all Morlock players, they're just gonna zerg the chest and then go defend. Hmm. But you never know. Sometimes people they don't really care. They 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 don't even see, hear the notification. They don't bother showing up, but sometimes they do. Uh, like I said, Karn's Hill is pretty hard to, to cap at least one in. I'm just going to try anyway. Uh, again, just for the points, just for the lols, just for the kecks. Swap to bear. Get back on that mount. Skills have five seconds cooldown. That's enough time to glob them up. Make sure I'm targeting the champion of Martlock. There we go. Get them all nice and crumpled up. Get them all nice and... There we go laser and just start dpsing watch the guys attack it's hard to see the red attacks through my jacket but that's fine and i gotta stay near the bear remember we we have to utilize the bear and dodge that that's the that's an armor shred we definitely don't want to be hit by that i'm actually going to tank this with the bear just because if someone rides up on me it's very bad and we have to cancel laser to move out of the way of the stalacite and our abilities are coming back off cooldown here shortly. So we're going to, again, cast everything we've got on. We want to DPS them as fast as possible. So far, no one's showing up to stop me. So that's good. Uh, dodge that. Bear tank it, because I want full HP in case I get into a tussle with somebody. Let's break new ground. Let's break new ground. I, uh... <laughs> this guy's very audible. <laughs> Oh, he's growling. He's growing big, guys. Don't worry when he grows big. It's not It's not that dangerous. It's the Stalocytes. You don't want to get bounced around by him. And uh, I normally kill this guy faster, but um, whatever. That took three cooldowns on my armor to kill. So I don't know why I was lacking damage there. I think it was because I was playing more defensive. Normally, I don't tank the whirlwinds. All right, we got... Uh, ooh! No, that's not the one guy I'm talking about. He's, a, he's, a, he's definitely a Shadow Collar guy, though. He's out here doing the same thing. Maybe, maybe not. He's doing a little bit safer build, though, but uh, there we go. We capped Karn's Hill. Congrats. Congrats to me. i waiting on my mount cooldown. Uh, Adrenus is way too risky. There's way too many blues there. I'm not even going to bother with Adrenus Hill. Um, Ilmar's uh, getting taken by Bridgewatch. Bronze got recapped because uh, we took that earlier, didn't we? So, uh, yeah, they're very, everyone's defending like crazy. Drywater was never successfully captured. I, I still hold it. <laughs> I can go get Parched Throat, I guess. I guess I'll go do Parched Throat now. And, uh, because we got a little bit of time left on our food. We got eight minutes. Parched Throat's pretty close. And, uh, then we just chill. We just, I go AFK, make some breakfast or something. I could go grocery shopping. I can go do some YouTube work. There's a whole lot of stuff I can do. And then 
I can even log out. I don't have to be logged in. And the next time I log in, I'll have a gorillion points. I'm like, I'm not even kidding. I'm, I'm gonna have a whole lot of faction points. And it, and, and this is something you can do by yourself. You don't have to blob up and, you know, share all the points with a bunch of other people or anything silly like that. Um, it, it, you just have to wait until, like, people log in and start capping the zones. And then, and then you get credit, you get points, because it's like, hey, you capped an outpost. You were part of this. Congratulations, bro. So let's get to Parched Throats, let's capture one of those zones, and uh, we can even do some solo ganking if we want, you know. Uh, that, that That's a uh, solo ganking, if you can find players out doing solo activities, uh, is it, it's just as good as doing this. You don't have to ha solo outposts, but soloing outposts is just one of many things. You don't have to travel very far to solo the outposts, whereas soloing players, you have to go deep into enemy territory, and hopefully find someone, which you might not always find someone, but when you do the outposts, they're always there, they're always in the same place, you can check on the map if they're available to do, and, well, <laughs> someone's, uh, uh, tier 8 wolf there had a little spell effect left behind. Alright, Parched Throat Plane is just one more zone away, pretty quick to get there with the husky, that's why we use them, good old husky. And also, you know, because I have the food buff and I have the set, I could go farm tier 5 statics, which is another way to make a good amount of faction points, you know, tier 4 statics is, are even better for farming. Which is weird, but um, it's due to mob density. What do you got there? Ooh, he, see, he, he turned around and started following me immediately, dude. Oh, <laughs> it looks like you missed me, buddy. Oh, they're trying to gank. <laughs> they're trying to, see, they're out here doing the gank strategy. They're out here uh, doing a little duo gank. Okay, so there's a... I am going the wrong way. I wanted to go to Parched Throat, which is down here, so I'm not entirely in the wrong way, but um, <laughs> I took the long way to get there. Again, again, I am bad at navigation. <laughs> uh, where's my Albion GPS? <laughs> it's not a real thing, it's, uh, yeah. Oh man, why is navigating so hard? I don't know, I don't know, I've never understood it. It's like, you know what would, Albion would be really cool to have, like a waypoint system. Let me like right click on the world map, and then let me get a glowing indicator on the mini map that tells me where to go in the fastest way. I, I think the game would benefit from that. There we go, we got region capture twice, all at once, it got kind of got shotgunned into our veins, and uh... <laughs> uh now that's, that doesn't count as defense of the land points, that is just region captures. Which will multiply, it's a multiplier now for our defense of the land points. And, you know, we've, we've killed like a few players. Dang it, can y'all go away? He's a, he's not, he's a non-threat. That guy is undergeared as heck. But he still might try to stop me. That's the problem. So if I go to Outpost 3, I can run to the static for safety. Though most likely they'll just walk in my puddles and then um, put me in combat. So hopefully that guy that just rode by us is zoning up here. But he might not be. And I I keep getting attacked by cats. <laughs> oh, the cats, they want me. Alright, let's swap. I just heard someone zone. Or something outside of my screen. Hopefully not a Limhurst. Dang it, he's fucking guarding the, the base. Oh no, that was him. He I guess he died. Ham Zebrek. Okay, well he might he might screw off. He might go away. It looks like he's moving along. He probably does, doesn't realize what I'm trying to do. I could fight him, because he's low gear and no spec, but if he's got friends... So, they don't get notified that this base is under attack until I start shooting. And sometimes, because I pull them over here, they don't see that I'm, like, fighting anything. I'm just like, oh, it's, like, bugged out or something. And then they just kind of leave me alone, right? Alright, and heal, and armor shred, and attack, and laser beam, and puddle... We need to do as much DPS as possible. Alright, we're gonna dodge that. Hit him with the puddle uh, once again. And I need to l start looking at the sides of my screens. Dodge the big bleed there. Hit him with the puddle and the laser beam. So, oh, definitely don't want to get hit by that. Let the mount tink that. There we go. And yes, uh, <laughs> this is a cheesy way to do this. I know. But hey, you know, it works. So I'm doing it. And, okay, we, we managed to dodge that, hit this, hit the shred, hit that, hit the, the self-heal. I'm taking a lot of damage here, so I've lost 1,500 HP at this point. I just need to race them down. 
I'm in the corner. I shouldn't be blowing around. I'm going to take the hit, though. I'm going to take that hit, which is bad, because now I'm three stack bleeds. But we're just we're just going to gun him down. I'll, I'll potion if I have to. There we go. We got him. All right. We got to capture this point quickly. We're just right here in the corner. Uh, I could swap to a PvP set real quick, jump on the mount, change skills if someone rolls up on me. I gotta keep this in my mind, that's why I'm saying it out loud. But it looks like we successfully captured this without any interference. Uh, no one decided to challenge us. 10,000 fame for that, by the way. It's not the best fame farm, it really isn't, but um, it's something. Alright, we can swap to Husky now. And uh, Now you want to wait until the person spawns. You want to wait until the little faction uh, champion spawns, otherwise someone could roll up and uncap it. And that's no bueno. You still get points. But it just makes it, you know, take longer. Okay, so we have Arch Throat. We captured Dry Water earlier. Someone else is helping capture that now. Um, so what I could I could I could start Sand Gust Cleft, or I could just go to Pine Coats. Let's go to Pine Coats. And uh, yeah, we only have a few minutes left on our food buff. I might not be able to make it. Because you need the food buff. You you absolutely need that food buff to do this. And here's here's a person coming to follow me. I can outrun them with the husky. They might like, the thing is, if you're super fast and they're chasing you, they'll give up. Unless they also have a husky, or they're if they're really determined because I'm a YouTuber and they really want... They really want that screenshot. They want that, hey, look, I took a screenshot of Soul Benji. Then they share it in their Discord, and everyone's like, oh, that guy, Yellow Zone Warrior, Lamau. <laughs> this is way more fun than Black Zone Warrior. Yeah. Anyway, so... <laughs> Let's go to Pine Copes. We have a few minutes left. We have a minute, 18 seconds. That's not long enough, but we might be able to do it. I can always eat another food mid-fight if necessary. All right, Pine Copes, Pine Cops. Pine Cops, Pine Cops. What you gonna do when they solo you? Pine Cops, Pine Cops. <laughs> oh, man. What am I? What am I even doing? Okay, look at all these enchanted mobs someone could be farming. Jeez, that's just fame left, you know, on the ground there, just not being utilized. Okay, last outpost, here we go. 30 minutes of soloing outposts earned me this much faction points. Wow, dude. Wow, bro. Alright, get over here in the corner. Get over here. Yes. And dump... And then dump again, armor shred, laser beam, cultist hood, all of the spells. Dang it, I missed, uh, I didn't mount up in time. Okay, yeah, but we can take that one. Hit him with the laser, and my food buff is about to be out. My food buff is dangerously low. I'm gonna tank this. If we use the bear, we shouldn't need the food buffs. <laughs> Maybe. And now it's up for that. I failed. Oh no. You can see that my HP is going to start rapidly dropping without the food buff now. I might have to potion. Even though the food is cheaper than the potion. Alright. Or I can just sit on the bear. I am not successfully sitting on the bear. Oh no. I, I'm going to potion this. Yeah. I'm scared. I'm scared, guys. Again, no food buff. <laughs> Don't even think about it. All right, we did that fight with half a food buff. Uh, we also completed the daily bonus from soloing outposts. Um, someone said hi, sorry for the stole chest. No one stole a chest from me, so I don't know who he's, what he's talking about. Maximus99, what chest did you steal? I, I haven't done a world chest today. I rode by one. It's not stealing. I don't know what that dude's talking about, man. I'm muted. I can't reply to him. Okay, so we got Pine Copes. And uh, Steel Hide is back capped. We could go to Dryfield Meadow, man. We can go deep. Do we go deep? Do we go deep? I mean, we did 30 minutes. That's all I normally do. But, uh, hey, we're filming a video. We're having some fun. And people like longer videos. Well, how many faction points we have? Over 9,000 yet? Uh, yeah, we're at 10,000. Okay. And <laughs> we started at 6,000. So that's 4,030 minutes, but hey, we're going to get more, like I said. You can just log out for the whole day and come back and be like 50,000. <laughs> uh, let's go. Let's go, Wolfman. Wolf Chad. Husky. Husky Bros. Rise up. Let's go capture the next zone. I don't know if I can get to the next zone. Also, there's a static zone here I could farm, which uh, might be cool, but 
There would be more lim- Oh, that's a boss. I'm stopping for the bosses, guys. You gotta stop for the bosses, man. And, uh, yeah, because this is just free fame, right? It's, it's a freaking tier 4 boss. Look at that, 25,000 fame. Why would I not stop for 25,000 fame? That's free. <laughs> that's easy. That's easy and it's free. Hmm. But yeah, I don't I don't know who this Maximus 99 guy is and why he's saying he stole a chest. No clue, man. Did Maybe it's some dude that killed me at some point. Did I die to a Maximus 99? No, I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe he's just like... <laughs> Hey, maybe if I if I say some gibberish, he'll put it in the video. <laughs> oh man, do other YouTubers get constantly whispered just random stuff from people, man? I don't mind it. I read everything that people t you know send me and stuff, but uh, I just can't reply. I feel bad. I I absolutely just there's no I don't have the ability to to reply. And it feels bad. All right, I, I said we'd stop at thirty minutes, but you know we might as we're we're here. We might as well. Might as well swap to bear, and yes, that puts everything on cooldown, I know. We're gonna eat- we have to eat the food, because if I don't eat the food, I can't capture the outposts, it's that simple. Alright, and eat the foods, we ate the foods, there we go, we did it. And soloing time! <laughs> it's sweeping time! No running in the halls, detention for you! <laughs> uh, Baldi's basics playthrough win? <laughs> All right, Limhurst Chads. I mean Limhurst Sads. It's time to get soloed, and we're lasering, and we're puddling, and we're mounting up before that thing hits me, and we're puddling again. We're just gonna tank that last little big hit there. Boop. There we go. We, we did it, Reddit. <laughs> we did it. Oh no. I didn't- oh, I tanked that. That's bad. That's no- that's no good. Watch this. Watch this. I'm watching. I'm watching, bro. Now, I want to use my heal when I have my armor shred, so I'm just going to sidestep that. Armor shred, do, do Dump the puddle. Start the lasering treatment. That's right, it's a treatment. <laughs> Let's dance. Oh, I don't want to get hit by that. See- see how much the- the food difference makes? Look at that. Look at the difference in HP. Okay, and I barely use the bear. I failed you, Boris. Boris is my best friend. He's so cool. You can hear, you can hear the squeals of Boris as I kill his master because he is soul bound to the, the faction outpost master. All right, and then now where are we going? Where are we dropping, bros? We could ride up to Gold Shimmer and assist the main blob at this point. Even though they have nowhere else to go. Um, I'm not going to make it in time before they cap that. Unless it's a solo dude. And, oh, Pinecopes is freaking rallying, bros. Oh, dude, we're, we're faction farming. Or, I mean, yeah, we're fame farming now. This is a fame farm video. Come on, hurry up and spawn. I gotta go faction farm. Uh, I, yeah, region capture, 900. These region captures just add up like, they just, they're wildin', man. And we could actually enter from here, you know? I want to see how many players are in here, and I really don't want to run into Limhurst flagged players, but, um, no. I'm, I'm going to check the open actual dungeon first. I'm going to check the, the top, because the top is safer than the, in the inside. Uh, on top, I can just mount up and run away. Inside, I am screwed. I also don't have the right helmet, but I can make it, I can make it work. It's totally fine. <laughs> oh man see they're capping that I've already capped that so I get credit yes Bridgewatch has captured outpost number one alright what will Bridgewatch do next find out on the next episode okay I don't know how often Limhurst actually comes here to fame farm I would assume maybe that they would but Swap to the bear now, and what is our 52 722? Uh, the combat fame credits. Okay, that's not a good sign. Oh, yeah, there's already a Limhurst dude here. Can I take them? Yeah, no, that's a healer. Yeah, I'm that's that's a pocket healer and an 8 4 battle axe. They own that zone. There's I can't do nothing to that. I'm not even gonna go in the dungeon, they'll just hunt me down. I can't, they I'm just outmatched. There is nothing. That I can do there. But you know what we can do? We can go capture, uh, we can go capture Stillhide. And, um, Sandgust Cleft is... Someone already captured Sandgust Cleft. 
But Steel Hide will become available here shortly to cap, so we'll go do that. And I don't even need to, like, assist here at all with these dudes. Uh, but I can stand here and get the little... The, they already cleared it, so I might as well get the... You know, the little itty-bitty points that it's going to reward me here. It's like probably 40. Let's see. Do I call it? 84. <laughs> I was way off. <laughs> I was halfway off. Anyway, there you go. I, I did it. <laughs> I helped capture the outpost. All right, let's go steal hide. Capture that. And then that that's pretty much it for Limhurst. Then we go check back over to Martlock, see how they're doing. I think they were actually pushing back. So it's going to take a little bit longer to get credit for all the things that they're doing. Steel Hide Meadow, yes. It's where people go to skin. Skin the animal. You know, I might I might enter the crypt from like this map, maybe, in a bit. Check inside. If there's like no players, then I can I can run around. It's not as good as the open, but that pocket healer and, and battle axe user have kind of, you know. I could unfaction flag and do it, but then there's no point. I gotta check this, I'm sorry. Ew, get out of here. Man, all these people, like, there's a lot of YouTube videos that are coming out of people are like, you can make a bunch of money with the black market. Go craft tier 2 and tier 3 items and then sell it. And while that does technically work, it doesn't advance your character and it's... The silver per hour, it's high risk and it's not worth... Oh, that's actually worth running right there, that group dungeon. We might do that. <laughs> we might do that group dungeon. So, here's how this is going to play out, maybe, possibly. By the time Parched Throat fully captures, I should have this defeated. Maybe. R region capture, yes. Yes, sir. I want to approach from up here. I have my, my techniques so that I don't pull Boris. <laughs> this is advanced PvE mechanic right here. Alright, let's go. Into the corner. You guys know the drill. You know, you've lived a million isekai lives. You know what's gonna happen to you. And life steal into corruption into other corrupted thingy. I really don't like him sitting in that position. And can I not get bleed ticked? There we go. Hit him with the laser beam. Oh yeah, he's getting lasered. Make sure I tank the heavy archer hit. No! Ow, owie. It's okay that the bear gets hit by it, but not me. I don't like getting hit by that. Hit him with all the spells once again. Dodge that. There we go. We did it. We dodged. We are the dodge maestro. Don't know what that would be, but uh, <laughs> we're, we're playing a little safe with the bear here. I could kill this quicker if I stop mounting up. But I definitely hate getting hit by the air thing. And that big cone of death. Alright. Soloing Outpost Bosses. The movie, the film, the, the trilogy, the series. Uh-oh. Looks like I have to fight now. Uh, damn, that's a hard fight. I really want this zone, though. Does he want to challenge me for it? Does he want to fight me? I guess he didn't want to fight. Okay, we'll see you later, bro. <laughs> It's like, I'm gonna, you know, I have a good, if he gets in melee range, I have a full heal, I have an AoE, I can stop him from attacking me, I can ruin his armor, I've got heal potions, and he's a battle axe, so he can still beat me. But he has, the thing is, because he's battle axe, he has to run away to heal on mobs, and I don't. So I'm gonna camp it, make sure he doesn't come back and back cap me, so, gotta wait till that's, he could also solo this back. He is geared enough to re-solo this back, and that's fine, because I still get credit when it, when it captures. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We did it, Reddit. We did it, boys. Uh, <laughs> what's next? Um, Dryfield? Didn't we capture Dryfield? Yeah, we did Dryfield already. Uh, that's a tier 3 zone. Uh, Willowwood's already capped. They capped this. They're, they're not doing Hornbeam. There's no way. Snapshaft is uh, rallying also. That's cool. Lots of rallying going on right now. Uh, Martlock, 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 Bronze Hill, again, that hasn't, they're trying to cap it, we'll get it eventually, I'll get the region capture points for that. I think it's time to go AFK, or just go hunt down players, I can come back in my bear ball set and start killing dudes. Alright, and yes, I'm aware that I'm spending a lot of silver doing the journey back stuff, that's fine, I'm lazy, you don't have to be lazy. We're at 13,532 points. Um... <laughs> 
I don't know who Coquina420 is. <laughs> I don't know these people. <laughs> Honored to be noticed by you, Senpai. Heart symbol. Uh, if you say so. Maybe, like, how old was that video? I don't know, man. I always call out people with this 420 name because drugs bad. Uh, anyway, let's buy... Oh, I just got another region capture. Very cool, very cool. And, uh... Oh, no, I spent points, but whatever. We, we know that we spent 9,000, so... Uh, there we go. Got the thingies. And now it's... I'm just gonna go... I'm just gonna AFK. I'm just gonna be like, meh. Actually, no, because I don't want to edit the video. <laughs> 250,000 points there, 20k there, and uh, I can go solo gang. You know, you know what? Whatever. This is just me playing Albion online. That I don't know what this video is, but Redstone Plane has been captured by Mart's Lock rather recently, actually. No, why is that orange if it's blue? Oh, okay, now it's blue. <laughs> now it's captured. So I go capture that and go get Flat River. So I can I can go I can go lazy to slow tree to flat river or I can go smooth floor to redstone, uh, which is way better if I want to keep soloing. I might as well. Might as well just keep going. Might as well make it one hour. You know, like one hour of soloing faction outposts earn me this much faction points, bro. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't know what videos to make anymore. This is what happens when you run out of ideas because I've covered everything there is to cover in the solo player. Oh. Uh. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing, bros? Bridgewatch bros, it's over. <laughs> and yes, I'm... Oh, region capture. We got another one. And yes, I'm to oh, I want to gank him. Dude, I want to gank that hard. I'm, I'm considering it. <laughs> I'm considering yellow flagging and ganking that. Oh, I had my eyes shut. Another region capture. Look at all these region captures. Wait till we get the defense of the land bonus, man. It's gonna just cha-ching. It's gonna be like money, money, money. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is how to do it. You just get a bunch of region capture points. They'll just start flooding in. It's nice. It's nice to do. It's nice to have. It's nice to see. The only thing that I can think of that farms faction points faster than this is a bomb set in the red zone during bandit that's the only thing that will out farm this in terms of um you know like time efficiency and uh <laughs> faction defense there we go we got some there's a lot of people active though too so again because it's the weekend i should do this on a weekday like on a wednesday like zero utc oh we got someone capture an outpost four if someone's capturing an outpost i don't need to solo an outpost uh, fuck it. I'm just gonna go solo five. I'm lazy. I don't want to ride all the way down there. I'm I'm just a lazy boy. I said see you later, boy. <laughs> he, he he did not have enough faction points for her. <laughs> I'm just a bridge watch Chad with my shadow caller. <laughs> Rah! That guy's name is Termo. It's like discount Timo. It's like uh, it's like store brand. You know, League of Legends. Oh, I have the wrong skills. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. I, I had my PvP skills on. I need puddle and laser. Ah, come on, dude. Don't don't walk in my turf. Unless you have the right skills, so let me just switch that back. Okay, my bad. You know, I forget. I forget that I had to post up on a guy. Doesn't normally happen. Alright. Now let's get to it. Oh, we got we got a little helper here. That's fine. Here, I really want to be able to heal off these guys before anyone kills them, so I'm just gonna heal a little bit early. And oh, is he a one-handed dagger? He doesn't look very. He oh dang, I got knocked. My mount. It's okay. We got a bro here. Oh, uh, he's he's dual daggers. He ain't doing nothing. He's just here to. <laughs> uh, he he can kill players if someone if someone you know posts up on us. Oh, we got Nephilim here. He's a, little, a lot of life curses tonight. What's going on with the life curses, man? Everyone's out here live. Why does he have aggro? <laughs> uh, that is weird. Why does he have aggro, bros? Here, let me do my part. <laughs> here I come. <laughs> Smashing. Whee! Let's go, Psycho HHN. I'm going to hover around him. Oh, I don't have aggro anymore. Dang, that, that freaking Whispering Bow shot fast. What's your secret? Do you have... Oh, yeah, he's got attack speed passives. Okay. You don't need those. 
you cap your ta attack speed with Hunter Jack. It's higher DPS to not use that. But, you know, if he doesn't want to watch my videos or, or go to the test realm, then that's on him. Alright, I got credit for that because I did the most damage. Why are you dismounting there? Like, why are you casting that? I don't know, man. But now we have... Uh, we can go to Flat River next. Let's swap to Husky. Roly-poly. With the Tier 8 and the Gathering set. It's kind of a weird gather. I don't want to join your party. <laughs> I'm a one-man Wrecking Crew. <laughs> what is that from? Uh, Wrecking Crew here? That's from Warcraft 3. That's from the... Uh, the sappers, I know that. The goblin sapper. Wrecking crew here. <laughs> Maybe I'm pretty sure it's it's Warcraft three and not Dota two. I don't know, man. Ow! Don't bite me. Why are you on the road, you silly cougar? Road, those darn road cougars always biting at your ankles, snapping at them, slowing your mount down. Being they're, they're just little bullies. Like the huskies, like bro, why'd you bite me, man? What'd you do that for? Number three, <laughs> Burger King foot lettuce. Don't add me. Don't add me, dude. If you listen, if you want to, if you want to genuinely be my friend in Albion Online, here's what you have to do. Okay, to see if we are compatible, and so that you don't turn into a freaking Discord trolling gremlin redditor that hates my us oh, boss. Let's find that. To to so you don't transform into one of my lifelong haters. I have to make sure that you and I are compatible before we do anything together. And to do that, you have 32,000 fame. To do that, you have to join the Discord, okay? That is a mandatory requirement. You have to join the Discord and take the questionnaire, and if you pass it, congrats, we can be besties. But until then, no, I'm not going to be your friend because you'll just turn out to hate me after a year. After 2 months, 3 months, 6 months, you'll just hate my guts. You'll realize that I'm not I'm not, you know, what you thought I was or whatever the heck. And then you'll just devote your life into trying to ruin mine for some reason. That happens with a lot of people, and I'm sick of it, so it's best that we never even make contact if that's the case. I can't believe I stood in that. <laughs> I guess I got really heated with my uh, my rant there. But yes, if you want to join my friend, look, I got people on my friends list. Okay, if you want to be a person on that friends list, then you gotta play games with me. You gotta join the Discord, take the questionnaire. We got uh, Earl Ube here helping us out, and I am taking a lot of damage, but you know it's whatever <laughs> because we have our heal back. And uh, as long as he stands in that, we're good. Yeah, we got our we got our health back. We're fine. I am just I'm just taking a beating here, guys. And uh, I'm pretty sure I'm out DPSing these guys, so I should still get credit. All right. Now the thing is, is that when more people show up, it gets harder to kill the boss because the boss's HP and defensive do adjust based on how many people are fighting them. So that's why it's easier to solo them, and sometimes a lot faster. Like, this took three armor rotations. Alright. You are Shadowcaller671. You got the 8-4. Flat 5-7-5-1. What are you again? Uh, you're, what the fuck is that? <laughs> nope. Hi, Benji. Hello, 181991. A newbie used two months to buy 30-day premium X XD. is a member of Beyond Recognition. There's a Discord link, and go say hi. I always like to just join the right now. Ooh, someone died there. Okay, let's see. Where are we going? Karns Hill. Nope, that's back capped. Uh, can't touch it. Dun, nah, 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 nah. Uh, we already touched Kilmar Tour. Now, that, that got recently recapped, huh, didn't it? No, that's fine. Yeah, we we, we've already touched all of these. And then down here, we've touched all these. So our mission is complete. At 53 minutes, we have touched basically every zone nearby. And uh, now it's just time to AFK and soak in the points. We're at 9,000 once again. So, uh... <laughs> guess I'll go get another chest. So that is, um... It's 18,000 minus what we started with. So 6,000. And like I said, I'm gonna be able to just... Log out and wake up with even more points. So, um... I'll be able to get another chest and another chest and another chest. Uh, as the, the zones get captured. What What is this guy doing? Well, let's see if I can gank him. Uh, oh, I'm in combat from a mob. That's stupid. Don't worry, dude. I'm not following you. I'm just going to gank you shortly with this. I don't think I can pop his mount. But maybe. 
Maybe I can. Let's see if I I don't I don't have oh maybe I can get him. Oh I'm getting him. Oh 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 got him. I uh, got gotcha, you gotcha bro. Gotcha. Oh are you a bot, bro? Are you botting? And 239 points. Yoinkers. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Let's see what this dude is. Oh, he's a guild master, father of Odin. No Discord link. You know, he's doing his own guild thing. <laughs> is he bot? Probably a bot. I don't know. He kept trying to harvest while he got beat up. He didn't really react to me running at him with the slowest boots ever. Not, no, that's that's the... Okay, but yeah. These are only 30% move speed. So, <laughs> slower than a freaking... Uh, uh, what is it? A mammoth. Speaking of mammoths, where was that one guy? I wanna go gank him. <laughs> How dare you try to transport through the my yellow zone naked on a mammoth? That's an insult. That is an insult. Alright, well, that's, uh, that's the video. I'm gonna go... probably work on YouTube stuff and, uh, get some points. I'll be getting plenty of passive points. Yes, indeed. Very good. Good show. Awooga. Awooga. <laughs> Awooga, indeed. And, uh, you know, and, you know, right, right what, what is this dude? Oh, he's, he's transporting. Dude, I wish I had my bear paws set so I can get on, but... I wish you could yoink people when they have the shield up. <laughs> now, the problem... Is he moving? What the hell is he doing, man? Look, he is from... Bro, really? <laughs> really, dude? Mr. Argus? Look, there's an item over here. What, what do we have? A one log? Weird. What is this dude doing? Oh, he's... Oh, he's down here ganking, too. <laughs> he wants that juicy transport of one heart. It's 40,000. Oh, he's, he's being camped, too. Argus. Oh, dude. Does he not realize when he turns in the quest, he turns invisible? I guess he doesn't know that. <laughs> uh, that guy said, yo, uh-oh, I got recognized. Gotta run, guys. The paparazzi's after me. Dang, road cougars. Oh, there's two of them. Have mercy, road cougars. I didn't do it. Naked and PvP hostile? What the hell is that guy doing? <laughs> Why? People, man. The people you meet on the roads. <laughs> Oh, man. Moo! Sky Farmer 2121, huh? He, he is he's born in the year 2121, and he went back in time to play Albion Online because he, he heard from the history books it was such a wild game. It was the downfall of humanity, so he's studying it for his time-traveling history lesson class. I know, right? I just, I'm just the best storyteller ever. Yo, Q-Toes with his... What is that build, dude? Don't wear plate. Stop wearing plate, new players. Stop it. You don't need to wear plate when you're when you're solo farming. Yes, 2,000 silver repair bill. I think that's a pretty good success. Let's go ahead and buy us another little chesty chest. And there we go. Oh, pop that bad boy open. 250k, you know, fame. 500k in fame tomes this sesh. And like I said, our points are still going to go up. At 323, I'm gonna I'm gonna wake up later in a couple hours, maybe in six to eight hours, and uh, that's gonna be like 20 to 30 thousand. And then remember, at the end of the week, you get the faction warfare bonus pointeronies, so that's also pretty cool. Uh, that is every Sunday evening, by the way, my time evening, maybe your time, not evening. I don't know. Okay, I'm not a time wizard. I don't know this stuff. Uh, but with that said, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed watching me solo faction outposts and uh, kill bots. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you go. I'll see you in the next video. I'm so Benji. Thanks for watching. Mwah. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss in the comments. You better give me a kiss. Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> it's not gay because it's the internet. It's okay. It's just words. It's just, <laughs> it's just YouTube. Uh, with that said, if you want to become a channel member where my cursor's bouncing, there's a join button. So right below here, there's a join button. Click on it. Five bucks a month. It's like on Twitch when you... There's all these people subscribing to people's Twitches for five bucks a month. Why not subscribe to my YouTube for five bucks a month? And as a bonus, you get access to private, more personal videos that are too good for the public. Um, those are advanced guides, advanced money-making, silver-making, farming... You know, Corrupted Dungeon Guides, all sorts of really good stuff. You can check out the playlist if there's anything that you like to see. Uh, feel free to, you know, 
do it. You can cancel, I believe, through YouTube. I don't know how that works because I haven't personally done it myself. Um, with that said, though, uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video and click the... There's a video on the right side of your screen. It's there right now. Don't, make, don't leave it hanging or um, he's not going to go to school tomorrow. <laughs> no, that's stupid. I think I've already said that one. Uh, click the video on the right side of your screen or else um, he won't um, have... Good luck at um, video games or something. Yeah, there you go. We'll do that one.